good afternoon. This is Grafe, or uh, Robo Grafe. I'm on BigPumpkins.com, and this is my giant pumpkin this year. Uh, this is the greenhouse. It's got a polycarbonate roof and some wind screening here on the sides. You could call it more of a shelter. It uh, it's not enclosed with temperature controls or anything. It just uh, keeps the plant out of the elements. And since I'm doing hydroponics or aeroponics uh, I don't want any water getting to the plant so this keeps it dry and I really don't have to worry about powdery mildew or any uh, waterborne and uh, moisture grown diseases so we'll go in here and take a look sorry for the mess things are a little behind this year I got started about three weeks late and uh, too many projects and this is part of the havoc. Uh, lots of junk sitting around here. Try to try to ignore that. Um, this is the pumpkin plant doing pretty well. As you notice, if we look back towards the stump, which is up there at the back. Uh, plant looks a little scrawny, and then the further you come down starts to look a little better well early on I started it in that little container as you can see right over there it's about a four gallon container the I put two plants in there the other one's still in it uh, mind you a little uh, stunted at this point point. Um, and they were in there for too long I didn't have the right nutrients I wasn't taking care of it everything kind of got put aside and uh, I ended up moving it into the main system about two weeks after it should have been so the roots got a little bound and I had to cut some and uh, move them around so it wasn't optimal and once it finally took hold uh, we really she took off so we got big leaves here big giant leaves um, now all the pumpkins on the main vine have uh, shriveled off this one's in the final stages of falling off. I uh, been busy with work and projects, and uh, spring took a toll on getting everything done. So uh, I forgot to come out here and check on the plant for about a month. I didn't step into this greenhouse, and I'm surprised it's still here. But it shows you the power that aeroponics has to keep things alive and keep them going as long as it has water in the system um, but we're gonna go take a look at the system itself um, here's a look at the container I had it in it's pretty pretty nasty uh, this is the this little plant here which is still growing out of the container is the 1700 pound pumpkin I had a lot of hopes for this one when I planted it and uh, when I did and it grew, it had uh, three baby leaves, three, uh, it was a tricot. And I looked on the forums and everybody told me that what, that was that was bad and I was going to get a ribbon vine or a double vine and it was just, I need to have backups. So I ended up going with the 1300 and put him in the main system and just tried to avoid any issues. And you know, she ended up not being a ribbon vine. So, a little disappointed. Uh, haven't had time to plant her outside or anything. So she's just doing what she can in this little container. Um, but now the main system here. A little updated from last year's. Last year's you can see sitting over there. There's the grow container and the water basin that was in the ground. Uh, we're not using trash cans anymore using these you can kind of see it it's a 50 gallon stainless steel basin uh, stainless steel drum that was used for making wine um, for the fermentation process well it's been a long while since they've been used so I decided to commandeer them and made a wood lid on the top you can see the stump out of the middle there stumps pretty small for a plant this size it's only about an inch in diameter and the main vine is only about 
three quarters of an inch overall. So if she slopes down this board and then planes out and levels out over there. Um, the second stainless steel drum is underneath this styrofoam board here to keep the light out. And that's my uh, it's my water basin that has all my nutrients. And if I lift this up here, you can get a better look. It's got about 40 gallons in it right now. I filled it up like three or four days ago. So 50 gallons will feed the plant for give or take, I'd say two weeks right now once the once we get a pumpkin going it'll be a lot less but two weeks feet uh, 50 gallons will feed the plant um, which is pretty impressive now the system is updated from last year last year all I had was a simple what they call a panda timer that would turn the pump on and off for about 40 seconds at a time and just the pump was hooked directly to the sprayers and that system inevitably failed because it was a lot of stress on the pump and it wasn't a good quality pump it was about one of those cheap pumps off of eBay so this year I went ahead and updated everything I have a timer here it's a Titan controls timer I have a air pump this is a rather large air pump. Forget it's a 70 liter per minute, much bigger than this system needs. Uh, this is the power supply for the pump, the water pump. Uh, I got a pressure gauge, and the pressure is reading about 90 psi, and the pressure tank, which holds about eh, three gallons and two or three gallons of nutrients at a time. And this is a pressure switch. So this tube, this tube runs over underground, over up the side of the tank, to a solenoid valve, a little solenoid valve there. Okay, and how this works is I have this line right here, comes out of the basin in the ground, pulls nutrients up, comes over. Uh, this reads the pressure and comes into the tank. It puts pressure into the tank. And that switch, when it reaches, right now it's reaching about 95 PSI. When it reaches, as you can see it's 90, when it reaches around that pressure limit, it shuts the pump off. And then when this pressure drops to about 70, it kicks it back on. It works just like a system at your house, uh, keeping the pressure for your house up. Um, so, and that just puts pressure in the tank. To actually activate the misters that are in the, in the uh, grow tank, the solenoid is opened up by this control here. And this control, if we can see, is off for two minutes and on for 20 seconds. So, that allows the misters to run for 20 seconds every two minutes. Um, this allows a lot of variable control. I can turn it all the way down to five seconds on and five seconds off, um, whatever's needed. As the pumpkin grows and it requires more water, I might just turn it on for 30 seconds or uh, lower the amount of time that the, uh, that the misters are off. It's infinitely variable, so that was a great purchase there. Um, now, the pumpkin plant isn't very impressive as far as a uh, plant goes, but what's really impressed me this year is the root system. Um, I really, a month ago when I put this plant in here and I saw the root system, I didn't have any hopes for it. I thought that I'd done all this work and just got so behind and nothing was going to happen. Well, these roots, it's going to, I got to turn this upside down so I can get in here, are fantastic. 
that's one of the misters. And there's another one over there. But if these roots are supported, there's there's one of those cables, those big uh, metal rods running down to the bottom. And those metal rods are holding up. Three, it's misting right now. Uh, those metal rods are holding up three trellis, uh, I guess you could call them, it's like a small half inch chicken wire or a little fencing. Three sheets of that. And what that does is that supports the root system and lets it spread out throughout the whole container. And they're sort of draping off of it. You can see it a little bit. Get a better look. You see a little bit right there. Right, I can't point at it, but that way it didn't all clump up in the center and get root rot. So that's the inside of the tank doing real well. Here's a little pumpkin I got growing very small just started out we'll see how it goes pollinated it I think yesterday um, but so more videos to come let me know what you think uh, leave anything in the comments and I'll talk to you then